What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to unlock the Cold War Ballistic Knife for those of you that are free to play in Warzone. Now, I know I did cover this weapon in the past. However, at that time, we were on a completely different map, and I know a ton of people have joined the game since then, and maybe some of you are out there still trying to unlock this, so I wanted to do an updated version. But before we dive into it here, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so first things first, in order to unlock the weapon, you're going to, of course, need to know what that challenge is. So you're going to go to where you edit your loadout, go to the secondary weapons, which means you do not want to have overkill on, go to the melee, scroll to the ballistic knife, and your challenge should be read as follows. Get a one-shot, one-kill medal and a melee kill in the same life at 15 different matches. Now, this challenge is going to be a little bit more difficult than it sounds. The simple fact that you are trying to complete this challenge in Warzone, and it is much more difficult to come across a one-shot, one-kill medal than it is in multiplayer, but we will get into that later in the video. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is going to be what mode you should be playing, and I recommend this in all of my unlock videos, which is Plunder. Plunder allows people of all skill levels to get the optimal amount of time to get that tracking on their challenge. So you can do this in the least amount of matches possible, which in this case is going to be 15. Now, this is not to say that you can't do it in limited time modes, but people of some skill levels might struggle more than others, and it will lead to you guys doing more than 15 matches, which overall isn't the best way to go about it, as it will take you guys a little bit longer. Now, when you are jumping into plunder, the main place you should actually be going to and landing is going to be airfield. There are tons of people going for challenges, leveling up weapons, and overall it's just the most commonly landed place in plunder, which means it has the most engagements, giving you the most opportunities to actually get this challenge complete. Now, I do also recommend that you do play solo, as having a team isn't going to provide you much value, considering once the team gets wiped, you might spawn at a different location around the map, Overall, just kind of wasting some of your time and maybe making it more difficult to get back to where the action is. Now, considering the difficulty of the challenge, there are a few things you should keep in mind that can make it a little bit easier for you guys to actually pull this off. And the first thing is going to be running Dead Silence. Dead Silence is going to allow you to sneak up on players. You have to get a melee elimination in the same life as your one shot, one kill. So that is going to be something you're going to want to be as strategic as possible with. And obviously having silent footsteps is only going to make that easier. It takes camping in a corner crouch, waiting for someone to walk into a room in order to get that melee elimination. That's what you should be doing. If it's something that you are struggling with as far as getting the one shot kill and then the melee, maybe getting the melee first is a better answer for you as the one shot one kill can come after and won't be necessarily as challenging. Now there's a particular strategy that you guys can take to do this and I'm actually going to go ahead and dive real quickly into what you should be using to do this the easiest possible way, which is unfortunately going to involve you guys having a specific weapon unlocked, but let's go ahead and dive into it here. So as you guys can see, I am running the R1 Shadow Hunter as my primary weapon. This is the crossbow from Cold War, if you're unfamiliar, and this is going to allow you to basically take somebody out. As long as they don't have a squad, they will be in an instant elimination just by hitting them with this thing. And I think it's a little bit more fun to use than something like a sniper rifle, which is probably one of your other options that you would have just for the simple fact that it avoids getting those hit markers and actually being able to eliminate them. The only thing that is a downside here is if somebody is playing in a squad, you will end up downing them, which actually will not count as a one shot, one kill medal, even if you eliminate them immediately after, or even if they eliminate themselves. So it is kind of required that they are a solo player so that you get that instant elimination. But I do think this gives you a little bit more leeway as you can actually choose your engagements in close quarters, as well as even in some med medium ranges, depending on your accuracy and overall gives you a better chance of actually getting that one shot, one kill medal than maybe trying to snipe somebody, getting hit markers, and overall having two hit headshots, which can be more difficult for some players than others. Now, obviously the secondary weapon is going to be the combat knife. This is also from Cold War, and I think that that's pretty self-explanatory. So now you guys know the loadout setup, which is unusual, because typically you have attachments and everything involved. This is going to set you guys up for the most optimal way to complete this challenge, and I guarantee you guys will be able to do it. It's just going to take you guys a little bit of time and possibly a few tries at it in a couple of different lives. Now, again, like I said earlier in the video, if you are struggling to get the melee elimination, but you're doing really well at getting the one shot, one kill, maybe you flip which one you do first and you go for the melee first, ensuring that you get that, then strategically place yourself in a place where you can get your one shot, one kill. Now, the place I recommend that you guys land is on the outskirts of airfield and the trees. Now, the trees are going to play a pinnacle role in this because the more secretive and hidden you feel or that you actually are, the more likely you are going to be to achieve this, especially if you are running dead silence. Like I said, you get your one shot, one kill elimination. 
you could pretty much sneak up on somebody that's firing from the outskirts and just melee them in the back without them ever knowing you're there. The other benefit again of using the crossbow is that you could sit in the building, get your, your melee elimination, then somebody else walking through or wandering through, you could either manage to be ADS'd or hip fire them with the crossbow and get that instant elimination as well. It is going to be a little bit RNG on whether or not the person that you eliminate is going to go down. Because if they do go down, you can actually still just melee them. If you down anyone at any point and you are struggling to get the melee, if you melee somebody that is downed, as long as you down them, it should still count as well. Now, I know this challenge is a little bit difficult, but I think with these tips and tricks, you guys will be way more successful than you would maybe running a sniper rifle or maybe than you have been in the past. Now, one thing I do want to mention is make sure, of course, that you are running the Cold War combat knife because using Cold War weapons to unlock a Cold War weapon has much better success at the challenge tracking appropriately than trying to run a melee weapon from a different game, which could possibly not count toward the tracking at all. And the last thing that I want to mention is going to be related to the tracking. I'm not 100% sure if you can leave the game after this. Like many other challenges, if you check in your edit loadout, during the game, you scroll down to your ballistic knife in the secondary category under melee. You can see if your challenge is to tracking properly. If you have received the tracking that you need, you can then leave the match and jump into the next one. But I do not believe that you can do this multiple times in a game and actually have it double the progress that you're making. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Hopefully these tips and tricks can help you guys get this done. Hopefully you guys will be getting your ballistic knife unlocked much easier. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.